Hey YouTube, it's time for a reef update. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Brian here coming at you today with an update on the reef tank. Uh, for those of you that are new to my channel or haven't seen any updates on my reef tank since you've been watching, this is a 29 gallon Coralife Bio Cube. I haven't done an update on it in quite a while, a couple of months at least. I think February was the last time and now we're at the beginning of May. Um, had some definite ups and downs on this tank. Um, I think I'm getting some things under control that I've been having problems with. Um, still have a, a ways to go. But I just kind of wanted to take you through and let you know what's new, what's been going on, where I've had problems and that type of thing. Kind of go from there. Um, we'll start off with some of the newer things that I've got. As you can see, um, <clears throat> over to the right, I've got a, a, a brand new torch. We're going to go ahead and zoom in on it here. It's two days in my tank. Got it from our local uh, frag swap uh, over the weekend. And it's starting to open up, but it's going to get quite a bit bigger. Uh, this thing was huge in the tank. Really nice big thick robust skeleton on it um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how this guy turns out up above it we've got an octo spawn it's the first time I've had one of these uh, the colors probably aren't going to show up as nicely as I would like in this video due to the blue and it's also just not quite opened up yet um, since I got it, but I got it the same vendor, uh, the same coral uh, swap, frag swap, whatever you want to call it, over the weekend. So, um, really looking forward to seeing what this do does as well. And I've got a new hammer, as you can see. Um, this should open up quite a bit more as well. It was a really big hammer, one of the bigger ones that I've seen um, as a frag. And uh, so, I'm looking forward to seeing what this does as well. Down below here, I picked up a nice uh, Zoa colony uh, that was already on a piece of rock. Um, several different colors. Some of the polyps are still uh, opening up, haven't opened up yet, but um, this will be really cool when um, when everything gets opened up and, and, and settled in. I have some plans for this going down the road. But at this point, it's just going to stay right where it's at in this tank here. And I'll probably show you some more at some other point. Then the next thing I got was this uh, plate coral. I'm not sure what type it is. It's just a solid red in color. Um, it was already um, glued to a piece of rock, so I just put it down in the sand bed. And uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing what that does too. This is the first time it'll, it'll be from that I've ever had a plate coral, so we'll kind of see what happens, and it'll be a fun learning process. Um, some of the other things that you've seen in the past in my tank that are still uh, rolling along just fine. Um, the trumpet coral, they are still continuing to grow. A little bleached out looking right now, but uh, I'm not too worried about that. It's still healthy overall. Up on top here, I always forget the name of this coral, but it's doing well also. Um, continues to grow, um, continues to be healthy. Speaking of corals up at the top, I also picked up this uh, this frag. Um, I'm not sure what it is, the branchy looking one uh, right in front of the green star polyps in the, that are on the back of the tank. Um, really cheap at the frag swap, uh, so I decided it'd be cool to have something branchy at the top. Also, just to the right and down a little bit, this guy right here, picked that up from my local fish store a couple of weeks ago, and it's got a little algae on it, and it's also bleaching a little bit, which is disappointing, but it's a green, um, oh, I forget the name of that one right now, too. You have to forgive me, I'm just just not as versed in, in coral names as I am in other parts of the fish hobby. 
As you can see, the green star polyps down at the bottom of the tank are continuing to thrive and expand and grow. Um, I've fragged it several times. Um, behind it, there's a small clump that's an actual frag. Over to the right in the tank, there's also a, a small clump. And then in the back, there's two areas, one to the right, and then one over to the left here. And then there's one final clump over to the right of the tank, just behind that plate that I was talking about earlier. My Duncan coral continues to do great. Um, it's uh, It's been thriving and, and doing real well, so I'm pretty happy about that. A couple of corals over on the right side of the tank that are doing well is this, uh, is this Monty. It's really been encrusting and growing, and then behind it, the, the leather. Um, has doing been, been doing really well also, so I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, over on the right side of the tank, um, it's where all my zoas used to be, and there's still quite a few over there, zoas and pallies. Um, some are doing better than others. Um, as you can see, right in the middle, there's a nice piece of Aptasia. I shouldn't say nice, but a, a big, nasty piece of Aptasia. That's been causing problems. I thought I had gotten rid of it, but it's come back recently. And so a lot of the Zoas and Pallies over here um, are closed up or have been um, receding or dying off. Hopefully when I can get that under control, everything will be cool over on this side of the tank again. As you can see, some of them are still doing all right. This is my goby. Pistol shrimp is back behind him in the corner there. I don't know if it'll come out during the video here. Okay, now onto some of the problems I've been having with the tank. As I mentioned a minute ago, I've had some uh, Aptasia problems, and I showed you a big one. Um, I've had some more. Um, there's one on the back wall back here, uh, just to the uh, bottom and right of the green star polyps. some down here. I've also got an old torch in, in view here just behind the green star polyps that has stopped opening up and I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Behind it you see a little piece of my red nem. It hasn't been opening up as well lately but it's still in that area. Not sure what's going on there. There's some more Aptasia right in front. So um, I've got uh, as far as the Aptasia goes, I went ahead and got some uh, peppermint shrimp. Um, since I've gotten them, I have not seen one of them in the tank, so I'm not sure if they've been killed off already or if they're just hiding out. Um, my next line of defense is I just picked up some Aptasia X that I'm going to give a, a shot at, so we'll see how that works. Um, you can see also in that kind of area there's some brown hair algae. Uh, this was a lot worse in the tank. Um, up until recently, I um, had let my phosphates get up a little too high, and uh, I was dosing, I dose fuel twice a week, um, aqua vitro fuel for my corals, and I started adding uh, one day a week um, refroids also, and since I started the refroids, that's when the algae really broke out. I think there was just getting to be too, man too much nutrients in the tank, in the water column and that, so cut that out, um, I've removed some of the algae by hand, and I've been doing uh, more water changes and changing out my phosgar. My phosphates were up pretty high, and that seems to be uh, keeping the algae at bay for the most part. Uh, another problem uh, that I've had is my KH and my um, calcium have uh, gone down and that was causing a lot of my corals to start to want to close up a little bit. So I've been working slowly over time at raising that back up to a to a level where they need to be. I'm just assuming that the corals started using more because I didn't change my dosing at all. I'm on an auto doser and uh, so I um, just needed to keep my eye on that a little bit more than I should have. And the final problem that I'm having is uh, the pulsing xenia. I'm not sure if I covered this in a video, but um, I had some pulsing xenia in this tank before, as you can see right in the middle of the screen there. 
and it just took over uh, the rock structure. So I slowly took it out by removing rock and scraping it off over time and got rid of what I thought all of it, but the stuff just doesn't go away. And it's starting to come back slowly. I heard uh, a few people online say that you can take kelp washer and make it into a kind of a paste and rub it on it to kill it for good, so I may try that next. But um, if I have, one, one piece of advice that I would give is never use pulsing zini in a tank. It's a beautiful coral, it looks just awesome, but it really takes over. If you do use it, put it on a separate rock island of some sort. But even then, I've heard that it can it can travel and move over, but it just completely will take over a rock structure, and to me it's just like a pest. Other than that, that's about all I have for you on this update. Um, I'm looking to change around the livestock a little bit in here as well. Um, the pajama cardinal that I've got has gotten to be too big, and it's just doesn't really fit in with the rest of the fish. So I'm looking to add some sort of a wrasse, um, and then get one or two more uh, fire shrimp. Um, the two I had, I've lost. I'm not sure what happened, but they've long, long disappeared. And I may get one more cleaner shrimp also. So I'd like to thank all my subscribers. For those of you that just watched the reef videos and not my freshwater stuff, I did mention recently that I hit the 10,000 subscriber mark. So just thanks again to everybody that subscribes to these videos and watches them, comments on them and that type of thing. I, I can't thank you guys enough. It's really cool that uh, over several years of being on YouTube, I finally hit that 10,000 subscriber mark. So thanks again for that. If you have any questions, uh, comment below. Uh, any comments on things I could be doing differently with some of the problems I've described or cures for some of the problems, I'm, I'm open to hear about that. Um, stay tuned for some more exciting stuff as far as uh, things on the reef side go in the upcoming months. But until then, later.